Okay, uh, in this video we're going to just do an overview of our uh, progressive siding system plug-in. Um, show you some of the uh, some of the updates um, that, that we have made to it here recently. Uh, uh, the, the biggest update that we've done is we have added the uh, soffit and fascia uh, to the plug-in. Um, most siding subcontractors are doing that work, so we've now added that um, as part of the plug-in. Um, the uh, the, the soffit and the fascia uh, can be done a couple of different ways. You, you can either do it, uh, uh, you know, here on the roof plan or, or you can do it on the elevation pages. Um, I prefer to do it on the, on the roof plan here. Um, that's where you're going to have to go to, to see how, uh, how wide your overhang is anyway. Um, you know, as in this case, we have 16 and 24 inch soffits both. Um, the, the reason we have three 16 inch uh, soffits here that, that appear to be the same um, if we open them up, this one here has a 612 pitch. Um, I believe this one here is, yeah, this one here is not pitched at all. And this one here, I believe is the, the 412. Um, so that, that's why we have three different ones because we, we have to take them off separately, um, to be able to, to calculate the proper linear total. Um, and, and then we just have the, the 24 inch, uh, soffit there, obviously. Um, and w within the, within the soffit, um, uh, here, here's what the standard assembly looks like. Uh, you know, you have your uh, wall receiver here, generally an F channel, um, a fascia receiver here, uh, a J channel, uh, generally, if, if you're going to have one, a lot of times you don't, um, there is your soffit material, um, your fasteners, there's your fascia. Uh, right there, and then, and then there's the uh, the labor for that. Um, again, if we if we open up the uh, open up the form view here, um, you know, you again, it's just uh, drop downs and, and check boxes that you have to select what you want. Um, e even though we we took this out of the the steel um, siding and, and soffit and fascia folder, we we could change this to. To, to anything we wanted if we want to do vinyl or aluminum. Um, so you, you can actually swap it all out. Say, say in the end your, your contractor changes what, they, what material they want to use. You can certainly do that. Um, the color can be changed, obviously, um, at, at any time. And, uh, you know, it, sometimes it'll be pitched. Like the, the light purple one here is not pitched. Um, so obviously it's not checked. But this one here is pitched, and it's a 612. So... That just allows us to draw it out on the on the uh, on the roof plan um, w without uh, it'll calculate the the actual linear total of that without having to go to the elevation pages um, to to get that. So um, so that's what we have there on the on the soffit and the fascia. Um, and actually on this one here, what I've done is I've actually done the uh, the siding takeoff. I did it the way I would. I would normally do it um, using the linear uh, feature, um, and I, I know most of you have said that uh, you just can't visualize it that way. That you need to uh, what you're seeing here is is doing it by the area. Um, and, and the only reason that I have this many of them is I I kind of broke out each different height um, together to correlate with how I would do it with the linear feature, um, just to compare. Um, I, I've, I've had a handful of you that uh, that have already bought the plug-in um, in the in the past, telling me that doing it by the area and by the linear, you don't get the same numbers. Um, you, you can see right here that we're uh, uh, what are we 0 0.01 um, squares off. Uh, that's that's pretty darn close. Um, we can go here and look and see. 13,521, 13,522. I mean we're we are a dollar and two cents off on 68 squares. Uh, that's that's pretty darn close there. Um, so we we have the options of doing both. Uh, the, the the downside to to doing it uh, by the area is you see all these all these other pieces I have sticking out up here. These are all of these two foot bump outs right here and here. Here again, um, on all, all the roof peaks there, basically the, the two foot right here and here. That's, that's what those are. That's why I don't do it by the area very often. 
Um, I, I don't like having to draw all these out up there and, and then, you know, put all my materials in again. I, I, I'd rather just do it on the on the floor plan. It's just easier for me. Uh, but you but you do have the option to do it either way. Um, I, I do think the, the linear option is is much quicker, but uh, but, you know, you can do it how you like. And obviously, you know, with all the we have the the openings deducted out of there, and, and with the area feature, you, you really have to digitize everything in there. Uh, you can't, uh, you know, it, we we can't just tell it that the the starter strip is however you know long our our piece of of wall is, because with the area feature, we don't know how long that is. Uh, with the linear feature, we, we certainly do, and we would not have to, in all cases, digitize all of that. Uh, in this case, we only had two elevation pages. It's it's a very, very simple um, addition, uh, actually a separate building being put on here, but it's connecting to two others. Um, very simple. Uh, it was very quick to do. Um, I, I think it took me less than 30 minutes to do it by the linear here, and then... Uh, no, about the same amount of time I, I suppose to, to do it by the area just to, to check it here to to show most of you how how you, you do get the same numbers if you're if you're uh, comparing the, the same thing uh, I, I think if you're not getting the same numbers you're leaving something off or or possibly doubling up on something on on one of them uh, most of you are telling me that if you do it by the linear you're way short um, than than doing it by the area and I, I think what's, what's really happening is you're, you're probably just not digitizing everything that you need to be. Uh, so if we take a, take a look here at the, the plugin itself, here, here's what it looks like. Um, you know, we, we have, uh, you know, a handful of different uh, types of material. The, uh, you know, we also have some equipment in there, some miscellaneous. Um, and then the uh, miscellaneous job cost, bid proposal fees, things like that, those are... Those can be used in the plugin. Uh, we we understand not all of you use those. Uh, they they certainly can be. But within the uh, uh, vinyl siding is going to be your most typical one. Within here, um, the, you know, there's your your soffits. There's your two two options for for siding. This miscellaneous area is to be used with the linear uh, siding tool uh, because you you cannot pick up. Uh, the the peak here doing a linear so that's where you would if if I am to let me turn these off here and show you All right, so there's there's an example of basically what I did was I did a you know the siding I I told it the height here was I think 12 foot I believe yeah and we did it on the floor plan so we just digitized that but then within there we have that there where we added that much onto it there are also going to be times as you see right here with this one here with the minus. You have to deduct from it uh, because I, I think what I did was started here and just went with that 12 foot again, and then I I added the top on there and then took off that there because that's where that that roof is attaching to the new building, the the existing roof there. So you can you can add or subtract with your miscellaneous area there, um, and and both of the both of both ways of doing the the takeoff here have the the parts that you need in there um, there there are additional parts you can put in these parts can actually be swapped out for for any of the accessory parts um, you, you could turn that starter strip into a J channel um, the J channel here could be turned into an undersill trim if, if you needed to uh, it, it just they're they're very versatile you, you can swap them out um, on the fly uh, you, you don't have to drag in another part um, and you know each one of the uh, siding uh, different material folders here have uh, uh, some trim in there, which in this case we, we actually do have on, on this one here. You see that that board right there. Um, they they all have that in there, and the the openings here. Um, you could either have the standard trim, or you could have.
trim boards. Uh, a standard trim with vinyl siding basically is going to be uh, a, like a drip cap at the top, some J-channel around the, the opening. Um, and and uh, depending on if you, have, if you have a window opening, you have some undersill trim at the, at the bottom of that. Um, otherwise, if you have trim boards, uh, it, it's going to be, uh, you know, in, with vinyl siding, most, most likely be PVC um, boards. So you have the option to, to, to switch them out there as you need. Uh, you, you can do either one with it. And, and quite honestly, the, all, all of the siding uh, can be swapped out for each other just like the soffit can. Um, you know, I, I digitized all this uh, with the vinyl siding uh, tool, but I could, I could easily go in there and, and, and swap that out. Uh, say right here, I could go in here and tell it that it's, it's aluminum and my material list for all my materials will actually switch to the aluminum material list and I, and I could just select those very quickly uh, within the reports so they, they can actually be swapped out very very quickly and, and easily um, again if your if your contractor decides to change change materials on you um, you know maybe after you do your takeoff you, you don't have to do the whole takeoff again so and also down here, we have some, a few miscellaneous things, uh, equipment mobilization, hotels and lodging, miscellaneous item, uh, mounting blocks or vents. Um, you know, in this case, we, we actually do have these the vents right there. Um, so that's, that's basically what we have with the plug-in. Um, we do have a couple estimating layouts uh, to use with it. Um, you have a summary and a, and a bid totals, um, which is what you see here. Um, all of the labor parts can either be done in man hours or, or they could be unit priced um, by the square, by the linear foot, by the square foot, depending on, on what they are. Um, in, in this case, everything on here was done, uh, like all the soffit was done by the linear foot and all the siding was done by the square. We still are getting man hours out of that, um, but these man hours are not being used in there. So you, you can still get the, the man hours to, to see them if you need to, but but if we if we pop this open here, we'll see that the, this labor here was done by the square at $105 a square. So the, these man hours here actually um, are not being used. So and you also uh, with the plug-in here, you get uh, you got a handful of reports here. Uh, where are we at? Right there. You got some material reports, labor equipment, uh, subcontract. Um, you got a couple of reports here to just to check to see if you have, um, you know, this one here just shows you anything that has a, a cost of zero. So that way, if you have some material in there that doesn't have a cost in it, you'll, it'll pop up on here. You'll know it right away. Um, and you know, here we just have a. Uh, these bid proposals are not included with the plugin. Um, we, we can make these for you um, if you'd like. Uh, you know, here this is just an example of one that we have made in the past. Uh, you know, your logo could go up here. Um, we zoom in here. Um, all this other information is populated off of your uh, job properties. Um, and you see here, we, do, we just have the, the three different items there that. Um, there's your total there, your your tax. Uh, we we could t certainly type that in there if we needed. And uh, you have a bid proposal here that's that's already made up for you. You don't have to print it up and and whatnot. So um, you also get material lists, um, labor list and equipment list. So here here's all the material on the job, uh, grouped by like item here. Um, so that way you you don't see these one and a half inch roofing nails four or five times and have to add them up. They're they're already all grouped together and added up for you here. Um, so there's there's all your uh, your uh, material for the job. Uh, same thing with equipment and labor. You could you could have all those grouped together too. Um, but that that's basically an overview of of the plug-in here. Uh, with the plug-in we do have some additional uh, videos, more in-depth videos showing you ha actually how to use many of the assemblies, uh, like I say, more in-depth. Uh, those videos are, at this time, only given out to the those individuals that buy the plug-in. Uh, in the near future here, we are going to be um, having a, a subscription-based uh, option for those videos for some of you that don't want to buy the plug-in but want to learn a little bit more about how to use uh, PlanSwift, I guess. 
um, we are going to have a uh, monthly subscription price uh, for access to those videos. Uh, we haven't decided what that's going to be yet. Um, but that, that will be available here very shortly. Um, so if, if you have any questions, just let us know. Um, our contact information will be right below the video here. Uh, you can get back with us and uh, just let us know what you think. Thanks.